Okay, Sunday afternoon. Quite a different weather pattern coming through. Very windy. We haven't really seen gusts like this and chips did for a while. Lots of action on the water. We're just leading up to the start of the graduate race. You can see the uh, handicap fleet have all, already gone off, off and so have the uh, scorpions. We've got a few heavy weather specialists out today relishing the conditions. Others weren't quite so sure whether they would go or not but decided to have a, have a, ch to have a chance and see what they could do. Okay, just at the start, Roger and Sarah Jane just to leeward of us. We got a good start right in the middle of the line. Got a nice lift. Roger's having to bear away a bit so it looks like we're in a good position. Tack round a couple of times now we're on starboard coming into A, the mark ahead. But Roger took a different line and he's coming in on port to the mark and actually does a much better job at rounding and either way. Scorpions are chasing us like mad. Nice jibe round C. We're making our way to it as well. You can see there's some carnage of boats upside down already. Okay, that wasn't too bad a jibe, and then down the run. My goodness, was it windy. Okay, so we're gradually catching Roger up. Really heavy gust, and we've got a r massive gust. Now, it's really important to have both sails out on, as, as Roger's got it, goose-winged. It balances the boat. It looks like Roger's mast is bending. That's just an illusion from the, uh, from the, the camera. But you must have both sails out, one on each side. It balances the boat. Otherwise, you're in. Now, we didn't go round G terribly well. Gave Roger a, a lot of room and allowed the scorpion to get in. But you can see how gusty it is. With the boat healing, this isn't the <laughs> a big header. Everybody backwinded like mad, and then suddenly the gusts come in again. The two boys in the in the top is Liam and Niall doing really well, getting up to wind. But these gusts are really vicious trading tax. We've already been passed by uh, Peter and Jane in 3006. We're really struggling. You can see how healed over we are. It isn't an illusion. From, this is real. This, this is the angle of the camera and yeah, well, we're taking a welcome break for a bit and then get it up to get going again. Now goes past us in the top. We're doing really, really well in these conditions. Okay, we're full of water. And we've got James and Helen I think they've already capsized once, but they're catching us like mad. They've got no water in their boat. We're still half full. And they just power past us. We're managing to hold our own a bit. Having got the, the boat sort of half empty of water now, I mean, these, you can see that these gusts are just terrible. Now, the, the water in the boat is tending to sort of um, compensate for our lack of weight. Okay, so here we go. We've been down to the bottom, back up again. We're chasing James and Helen. We've got Roger going past. James and Helen are way up in front. We've got the, uh, the Lockwoods, unfortunately, capsized, but they're getting themselves going again. James and Helen are ahead. Okay, right down the bottom of the lake again, going round G. And then not much happened on the way up. The same sort of thing, getting overpowered all the way up, right up to the top of the lake again. Again, chasing James and Helen, we're managing to catch up a little bit, and we're going across the top of the lake. James and Helen are going to jibe now. Okay, manage that pretty well. We do the same. Okay, it's just a bit of a lull now, not quite so bad. I mean, from the conditions, you'd think it looks nice and sunny, but boy, was it windy. Okay, here we go then. Down the re down the run, reach again. And we've got another heavy gust coming through. The Lockwoods are getting going, catching Nile up. He's looking a bit concerned, but I told him to hold his course, so he did. Good boy. But we've got a massive gust, and here we go. We're ghost winged. Unfortunately, James and Helen aren't, and they get overpowered. The jib pulls them up into wind. They capsize. But there's John Clementson and Melanie in their scorpion with the three sails up. He's um, also a graduate sailor second in the national championships and boy is he going down to the bottom of the lake. Now next in our sights just ahead of John Clemson there uh, was Doug. Now again we're healing like mad this isn't an illusion we're really really healing. Catching up Douglas oh, and 
avoiding the handicap tweet, that's Richard Ball. Roger's really powering away, he's way, way ahead of us, halfway up the lake again. And we're just coming to the end now. Luckily, we managed to get through without another capsize, and we're just managing to finish the race. But the, the point of the, the day really is, is getting your sails trimmed properly, everything in hard. So you want the kicker in hard, the cunning in hard, out all hard on, rig tension up really hard, and when you're going downwind, both sails out, goose winged, using the uh, flyaway pole if you have one, and keep everything balanced. Okay, Maggie's just going to take us off the water now. Well earned cup of tea coming. Uh, are you in there, Mum? It's safe to come out now. 